Hey there friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be decorating my patio for the fall season. I love expanding my outdoor living space, especially during the autumn season. If you're new to our channel, my name is Karen and welcome. We would love it if you would take a moment to subscribe for more decorating, cooking, and Dana Light videos. Okay friends, let's jump right into today's video. I first like to start off by adding warm and cozy textures like these plaid and pumpkin pillow covers in these beautiful hues of the fall season in throws. What I love about these pillow covers is that you do not have to invest in some new pillows. All you have to do is pick up different styles for each season. Over by our couches, this is our fire pit. But what I like about it is it does have this centerpiece, so it becomes a table. So I like to have my outdoor living space be very functional. So I like to have a candle, especially in the evening. And of course, some of my favorite magazines. I love this beautiful stone wall that we have. And so I have this wreath here. I, again, just makes this area seem like an actual living room, which why I just love, uh, just you know, bring it again, when it comes to decorating your patios, is bringing the indoors out. And the same with this wreath over here. Uh, you can tell I've had it out the past few seasons and put it away uh, each at the end of the fall season, but, um, so it does have a little wear and tear, but I still like it a lot. And again, it's gonna be outside. So for me to go and buy something new this year, I thought, well, maybe I can get one more year out of it. If we are not watching a football game, which normally is on my TV because we are all big football fans around here, then I do like to have a festive scene on my TV as seen here. If you have watched my videos in the past, you know that this has been something that I have done for years and I love the ambience that it creates. continue with my beautiful autumnal hues. Uh, I got this beautiful plum pumpkin. Again, this is one of the sunflower bouquets um, that I got from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. Uh, so just pulling things out of my bins just to put it around my outdoor living space again to give it that cozy autumn feel. And that's what's so nice about when you decorate outdoors. Just grab any extra decorations that you maybe did not use and basically just place them about your outdoor area living space, uh, just again to give it that cozy feel. Let's talk about my simple tablescape. I started out with placing 
burlap ribbon and I used it as a table runner down the center of my table. And then I pulled out these sunflower bouquets that I've had for years and I thought this would be perfect as part of my table centerpiece. Along with this lantern, uh, I of course love using lanterns throughout my home, but I decided to add a flameless candle. And the reason why I do that, especially when you're around food, is that you do not want it to overpower your delicious meal. So that's why I like to go with a flameless or an unscented candle. I have bought this beautiful blingy beaded garland and I still have had nowhere to put it so I thought this would be perfect on my tablescape. I then just placed some chargers down and I decided since this is an outdoor get together that I would use these beautiful paper plates and yes I am using paper plates. You can still have an elegant table using festive paper plates. My vision was to add copper to this table, and that is why I decided to add the copper cups and the copper tray. And then of course I had to add a little bit more bling with these beautiful blingy stemmed glasses. And another thing, friends, I'm gonna share with you another secret. My silverware is plastic, yes, but it is in the shade of copper, and I thought it would be so beautiful to be using for tonight's tablescape. Of course, when you are entertaining, having refreshments is a must. I decided I wanted to have, for our guest, a delicious autumn cocktail. This apple cider mojito recipe is definitely a fall favorite. I'm gonna share with you how to make it. You start off first by muddling some fresh mint and fresh lime, and then add some lime juice. And then I added the, of course, Malibu rum. You can add basically any kind of rum. I like the white rum with this recipe. Then I added some apple cider, ice, some club soda, and then topped it off with some fresh apple slices, fresh mint, and a cinnamon stick. Off to the side, I have this beautiful piece of granite that we I took from our kitchen when we did a kitchen refresh this past spring. And I have a tray on there with some rum, some apple cider, club soda, and of course some lime slices, some fresh mint from my herb garden, some cinnamon sticks and apple slices. And when it's time to make the drinks, I will just add the ice and then everyone can make their own cocktails. I like to give my guests the opportunity to add the amount of alcohol that they like or do not like. And of course they have the option to make it a mocktail. The past few years I've been loving this beautiful shade of mum and I decided I wanted to bring it back again this year and then add that beautiful burnt orange color as an accent. Since the autumn evenings tend to get chilly, I like to have a couple of my favorite throws placed out here so that my guests can simply grab one to get warm and cozy while enjoying each other's company. If you have been a follower of our channel for the past few years, you have seen many different variations of my pumpkin topiaries. So this one I decided this year is gonna use the beautiful pumpkin shade and white. And basically I just added a little extra touch by adding this faux leaf garland around it. Again, just to add a little bit more color and texture. Just a few more tips I wanted to share with you while you're decorating your outdoor living space is, again, bring those things that are inside, outside, to give your space out here a cozy, comfortable feeling. 
but I do say the opposite when you're decorating inside for the holidays, especially during the fall season, is bring nature and elements inside. So just a reverse for when you're decorating uh, your outdoor patio. And so I'm having so much fun here today. The weather is so perfect for this um, and everything's starting to come together so beautiful. I cannot wait to share everything with all of you. Another tip I wanted to share with you, during the summer season, I am constantly cleaning off my patio. But during the fall, I really enjoy just letting the leaves, not obviously get too, too much, but when I'm entertaining, I like to let them just lie here on the patio, because to me, I feel let nature do the decorating. If you continue to follow our channel, we have so much in store for you throughout the rest of this beautiful autumn season into the holiday season. And I cannot wait to share with you just how beautiful my back area becomes during the autumn season. I did write a quote last year, and if you missed it, it's worth repeating. Autumn is truly magical. It's when nature puts on its biggest performance. I love quotes. And if you have a favorite quote for the fall season, please share it with me in the comment section. Please stay tuned to the end of this video where I'm going to share just how beautiful, magical, and festive it looks out here on my patio in the evenings with the lanterns and the famous candles. And it is truly my haven. And uh, I do love it and enjoy my husband and I uh, during the day, but we especially love our time together here in the evenings. As you can see, our outdoor living space is not covered. So we do take the items in when we are going to have rainy weather. Mark and I have it down to a science where we can quickly put everything away in our covered outdoor bin. Now, of course, as far as my table setting, this is just here for my dinner party. Normally I just put uh, a lantern or a plant or something like that when the table is not being used for entertaining. Enjoying the autumn evenings, sitting outside by candlelight or with the fire pit going. Mark and I love to watch festive shows and movies. What are some of your favorites? What are some of your favorite ways to spend the autumn evenings? As I mentioned earlier, we have so many fun videos that we're gonna be filming in the next few months. And I was thinking of maybe doing a harvest party. If it's something that you'd be interested in as far as the menu and how I set everything up, let me know in the comment section. Please share with me what your favorite part was about my outdoor living space. I always enjoy your feedback and I would love to have some of your tips too. I love to learn new decorating ideas. I cannot wait for more fall videos. And I cannot thank you enough for hanging in there with us, friends. And I hope that you take the time to embrace this beautiful, festive fall season.